I've just left work uh, it's Friday morning and I'm hoping when the uh, fuel cleaners turned up and there's a van here clean fuel marine I think it's here Linda's here so let's go and see well it looks like a man from tank buses is here <laughs> chattering to Linda with the trolley out mate but this is Jason and he's doing our work today and he's taking a sample and there's one from the bottom which as you can see oh my god there's all bits in that's diesel buggy you reckon oh, look at that on the side there yeah. so that's diesel buggy you notice it's really cloudy because diesel ain't supposed to be cloudy is it and then yeah. the other one's off the top is it yeah that's what it that's what it'll look like by the end of the day clear it'll be clear in there so we've definitely got water in there mixed in with water and diesel bug and diesel bug live in the bottom so how do you know if it's live or dead it's black when it's dead oh okay it leaves a dead sediment it only lives for like 48 hours but it reproduces like rabbit 26,000 times <laughs> it's enough to do the damage isn't it yeah cool right then so there's the two the feed and the return from the tank you hit it runs at high pressure 25 psi yeah so it gets a good old squirt on the bottom of the tank clear all the muck out and the dead diesel bug we know we've got diesel bugs we've seen it in that other little uh, sample here so we're all set up ready to go in a little while the uh, filtering started Diesel going in there. Let's see what comes out. Definitely see the lumps in there, can't you? Yeah. Little yeah. flat bits floating up. There you go. Oh. That's why I opened the corner and fire started in the That really changed, didn't it? So that's the filter coming out, the old filter. That's mostly from the last customer because um, it still had a bit of life left in it. So we've had a bit of free filtering with the first bit, which is bad. And that's what we should look like. And uh, we'll see how many of these filters we need because we're going to need a few. What's your average? Four or five? Uh, it just, it totally varies. It just varies. Okay. There's no set recipe for Fuel. No, you're right. So we've seen the clean one go in, and then we can see that in a little while come out. Not sure how long it'll take to filter that one up. And that's a one micron filter. So we'll actually be able to go touring with clean fuel in our boat eventually. Excellent stuff. You can see some really big lumps in there. No, hopefully. So what we're doing now is changing the first set of water filters. Obviously wearing those little black bits you can see there. So where did the water go? Is it in there or it, elsewhere? It gets absorbed in the in the actual filter itself. They hold about three and a half litres of water taken out of them. What each yeah. one of them? Yeah. And they were clean, weren't they? They weren't the old ones, were they? They have been used, but they were on a clean uh, end of a clean, so they were clean. So they're pretty well, yeah. So that's three and a half litres or so. I'll fill that. Let's have a fill. Oh, blooming heck! And that's next to nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see what you mean. That's a lot of. That is a lot of water. And it's aeroplane time again. Oh yeah. This is the tank breather. I didn't even know it existed. And that leaks water. There's no seal on it. The little thing that feeds on the top. 
and it's put a probe down there and it's picked up loads more muck from that side of the tank. So that's quite handy doing both sides of the tank. And a bit of stirring down there, look. Okay, there's the filter for the bug, that's over four bar now, so that's going to be replaced. This is our first filter, that white one, I showed you a bit back. And, uh, oh dear me, this is all... Oh, hard lumps, aren't they? Yeah. You don't really want that in your injectors, do you? Oh... Oh, we've got rust and dead. The blacky stuff is diesel bug, is it dead stuff? Yeah. And there's and rust, rust in there. And, and... Right, this is the magnetic filter being taken out now. It looks pretty gummed up, really, with bits of muck. And... Oh, oh, that is hot, pretty. <laughs> so that's what it should look like. Oh my god! And that's what it does look like. Uh, spot the difference, make sure you don't put the wrong one in. That is just, oh. Lovely. You can see the bits in the bottom as well. Yeah. That really is horrible. I'll give you your, so en your engineering skills here. So we found this in the tank. Hold on, where am I? Uh, I don't know. Go on. That's where someone's put a filler neck or something on the top of your tank. They put silicon round and over the bolt. Hole. That's the top of the silicon thing. The bolt down. It's done little silicon pellets. Like yeah, that. little. Definitely. There you go. You can <laughs> present for me. Yeah. Always wanted that, mate. That's. Uh, there you go. My life is complete. Look at that. The stuff you find in your tank. Fortunately, it's not too bad so far. It looks like it's not a massive contamination. Needed doing, but um, that means it won't take as long as it could do and won't be ridiculously expensive. We're on filter two at the moment. That's the first change of a magnet. Obviously, they're just washable to clean them. Let's go again. So here's the next set of water filters coming out. You can see a different colour, definitely, because the fuel's cleaner, isn't it? Yes. The other ones are horrible brown colour. And, um, yeah, very different. So that's another, what, three litres or so, you reckon? Three, three and a half litres of water in there. Seven litres of two. Right, we've pulled that, considering how much fuel there was in, which is not a lot, that's a lot of water gone. So our tank didn't, <laughs> was even less full than we thought. <laughs> Take the water out and the muck. So, sweetheart? That's been finished. Fill it up. Fill the tank, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be good. He's putting another set of water fills in now. Oh, is that third? <laughs> Second set of water filters. What are you doing, sweetheart? Cleaning windows. So this is um, a lot of filtering later, still not finished, but look how clear that is compared to where it was. I mean, it was you couldn't even see that white bit in the middle. Wow. That really is working. We just put new water filters in, so to get the last bit out, should be too long now. So we've still not finished, but look at that, how clean that is. Unbelievable difference. Absolutely brilliant. So now we've got a bit of PTFE and an O-ring, because this is a common cause of leakage, of, well, water going in, that's a breather, goes on here. I didn't even know we had a breather there. 
all part of the service because we've got to stop the water getting in. Now I can imagine a lot of people don't really know about all this or aren't aware of the damage it causes when you get the water in. Yeah, job done. No more water going to go in there and it definitely could have leaked down the side as it was. You could just see it was a bit of rust and you know, water space. And now of course we've got this one, we've got to have a new seal put on. Uh, apparently they leak a lot. So this is the junk from the bottom of the tank, which is mostly water and bug that we just pulled straight out. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That's mostly diesel bug mixed in with water and a bit of diesel. There's some of the, the filters, the one micron filters. We had two new ones of them, plus the remnants of the last customers. And then there's the water bags containing the uh, water filters. And they're about three, three and a half litres. That's what you reckon, three, three and a half litres of water? Yeah, one, yeah. It's about three. So we're talking 13, 14 litres of water there. That's mostly water. That's about three, four litres, maybe four, five. So we're talking 15 litres or more of, of uh, water. Never mind the bug. Which was saturated in the fuel. Yeah, which was totally saturated, exactly right. So considering how um, low our tank was, only about a third full, and we've pulled all that water out, all that junk out diesel bug a lot um, it's pretty impressive so there's only I don't know 30 40 litres in there I think maybe a bit more not a lot so we're all clean we're going to go fill up now engines running in the background you can probably hear it what a job so now Celinda are you happy the job done I am very happy but what I'm most happy about is I will not have to hear any oh dear my engine's not running properly noises well it's horrible I know. and this is Magnificent Jason, who has solved all my husband's problems. Well, it sounds like it. Engine sounds good. We've got the tape player of the engine running. So <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, so this is the kit you have to bring. It's quite a lot of weight, but it's well sorted out. Electric trolley, pipes, gizmos, gadgets, got everything in there. And we can now go cruising up the cut. Well, sorry, up the river. Are we actually going to make it to, to Stanford Abbott's? Our first task. 10 miles to Stansford. Actually, it's more than that. About 12. Oh. So that's what we're doing next week. Excellent. And I've now got to clean off all the Sahara Desert dust off the boat. It's horrible. It's oh, yeah. Really I mean, fine. Yeah, we've cleaned a fair old bit. But um, that was just completely covered up with Sahara. Well, thanks a lot, Jason. I really appreciate that. That is a job well done. No problem. Thank you, Jay. And, uh, yeah, highly recommended, folks. I'll put the details in the link underneath. But that is really worth doing. The tank was pretty bad, although Jason says he's seen far worse. <laughs> yeah. But you are running back on your tank as well now. So. Yep. Back on our main tank. We can go cruising. Thanks again. Okay, no problem. Appreciate nice it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi folks, hope you found that video useful and enjoyed it. And if you did, you know what to do. Click like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I really can't recommend their services high enough. Our tank was a bit of a mess. The engine was running poorly, as you saw in earlier videos. And that just cleaned it all out. Got rid of the uh, water in the fuel. I didn't know diesel and water mix so well. Got rid of the bug, filtered everything out. Did a really good job. And it also shows us afterwards how to seal up the uh, diesel filler cap and the breather, which I didn't know we had, because uh, that's where most of the water gets in. Not condensation, as I thought, and uh, many other voters have told me, oh, it's condensation. Uh, the vast majority of the water gets in through those seals. So there you are, you've been warned. If you uh, want to use their services, all the details are down below under the link. I'll put everything down there. The Instagram, uh, the um, web page, contact details for Tank Busters and of course for Jason. Uh, and do mention this video if that's why you contact them. Uh, I don't get paid for this, but hey, you might as well let them know that uh, I sent them your way. So next week, me and Linda are off for a cruise in a couple of days' time. We're going to head off down the store towards the River Lee to see if we can actually get to Stansted Abbott's. 
we've been trying for about a month and a half so far to get there. They're 12 miles away. Um, hey ho, what will happen next? So we're hopefully going to uh, get there this time. Maybe even go up to Hartford afterwards. So next week you'll see our adventures on the uh, Storton Lee, hopefully, or more breakdowns. Um, so it's been fun. I've uh, enjoyed getting this all done this week. I can't wait for next week to out on the cut. And we'll see you next week. So bye.